thank you all for sharing your stories. And may today's bill passage signal to you that the Commonwealth is listening and we will keep fighting for all of you. And one of my first conversations with the governor was about addiction and recovery. And we spoke about how do we battle this issue? Because whether it's Dorchester or Swampscott or Western Mass or wherever it is in, in Massachusetts, this, it, it doesn't matter. It goes back to being a family disease. And he said, I'm gonna be bold here and I'm gonna take some, some chances. He said, will you stand with me? I said, absolutely, Governor. And then he turned to the Attorney General, he said, will you stand with me? And she said, absolutely, Governor. I'm proud that here in Massachusetts, we've turned a very big corner. This problem used to be seen as a crime. It's now understood to be a disease. I'm heartened that this legislation builds off of last year's landmark substance addiction law, which I've heard firsthand has saved lives. And that's an incredibly powerful thing. I recognize, we all recognize that this legislation will not bring your loved ones back. But I want you to know, and I hope that you find some measure and comfort knowing that today there is legislation that is going to change the course for other families. Our administration will continue implementing recommendations from our working group and finding new ways to pursue treatment, recovery, and education for all. Thank you very much.